Hey everybody and welcome back. Certainly glad you could join me today. In this video I'm just going to answer a viewer's question about my computer. Before I get started I want to say a huge thank you to everyone for subscribing and hitting the notification icon. That really helps me out. And of course an even bigger thank you to my patrons and members. Your names will be running across the bottom of the screen as we speak. So this question has come up a few times over sort of live streams and in various comments where people are just wanting to know what kind of hardware I'm using. So uh, I thought I'd quickly make a video about that so that everybody knows where I am. Um, full disclaimer, I'm definitely not using a supercomputer. My rig is very modest. I'm just one guy working alone in his bedroom to make computer games and YouTube videos. So... You know, I haven't got a huge budget to play with, um, hence why, you know, my games and things like that take a while to come out as well, because obviously I'm, I'm doing everything on my own. So the first thing, I'm using two Samsung curved monitors. I use the right hand screen for Dash Studio or coding or whatever I'm doing. And then the left hand screen I generally use for uh, reference material or if I'm using Dash Studio, I have like my render settings pane and my simulation settings and everything like that on the left hand monitor it just means i've got more space to work with on the right hand screen in terms of accessories and things like that i'm just using a standard wireless mouse and keyboard i have got a huion um, pen tablet that i use when i'm using photoshop and that was like i don't know 40 dollars or something like that it was cheap but it does the job it's an amazing bit of kit for what what you pay for it so my motherboard and processor and all that sort of thing so i'm using an asus motherboard fairly recent with a intel i9 processor in it and the i9 is the most expensive thing in my computer it's um it's a really good processor and it obviously helps with ta every task really it just makes everything a little bit quicker in particular sort of navigating around the desk studio uh, environment and I'm using 32 gigabytes of gaming RAM. Um, I don't know really whether gaming RAM is going to make a huge amount of difference or if you just use standard RAM, it just, you know, faster overclock speeds and things like that. Although I don't overclock my computer at all. So the last most important thing, and I know that a lot of people doubt this, so I'm going to show you for <laughs> proof. I'm just using a GeForce GTX 1070 Ti GPU. Um, I just optimize my scenes really effectively when I'm working in Dash Studio and of course when I'm making videos about it I tend to chop out a lot of the waiting time when I'm waiting for iRay to start with its uh, process. So when you see me doing a render on YouTube you'll see me start the render and then I'll cut out until the actual rendering is ready or at least visible as to what I'm doing. Otherwise, you'll be sat there watching two or three minutes of absolutely nothing. Um, those are the really the only relevant things. Um, my future plans are to upgrade to an RTX 2080 Ti now that the studio has kind of had that functionality coded into it. So the RTX guys should be seeing significant improvements in performance. Um, honestly, at this point in time if you want to be competitive you've got to at least be in the 1080 1070 or 2080 sort of region in terms of gpu or anything less than that and you're going to be looking at really really poor rendering times and of course as time moves on the application is only going to get more physically demanding on your on your hardware so you know it pays to keep up with the times in that respect um, the 32 gigabytes of ram and the good processor make a great deal of difference when it comes to actual standard work within dash studio when you're posing you're setting up your scene and all that sort of thing and then assuming that G gpu doesn't fail and you end up going to cpu fallback when you're rendering then you shouldn't have any issues with that however obviously if it does revert to cpu rendering because you've used your GPU too much or something like that, then obviously having a faster processor and more RAM is going to make a lot of difference. I hope that answers everybody's questions. I look forward to hearing what you say in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks very much, guys. Bye-bye.